Kendra Baker. This is my distraction technique. I bring you tasty treats um, you enjoy and, um, and forget everything I say. Um, so my name's Kendra Baker, and I'm from the Picnic Basket and the Penny Ice Creamery. Wow, I don't think I've ever said Picnic Basket first, but um, that's cool. Um, so let's see. Um, thank you, Matthew, for coordinating this. This is awesome. I think recently I've just heard from so many people, um, everywhere I turn, they're like, oh, how, do, how does Santa Cruz tell their story? Um, how do we start to celebrate Santa Cruz better and make people know like what's going on here? And I think this is like the perfect opportunity um, right here, um, starting within our community and really like building a momentum and a pride and um, you know uh, uh, a happiness around the things that we're doing. And um, I think with that, it will create momentum for big things to happen here. Um, I started The Penny with my business partner, Zach Davis, three years ago. Um, and since then, we've really grown our business. We've opened a location um, in Pleasure Point, uh, a kiosk on Pacific Ave, and the Picnic Basket, which is down by the beach. Um, Zach and I, um, Zach, oh, good, yeah, those are really yummy. And this is what I do. Actually, forget, let's stop for a minute. What I do is I gather people together and I feed them good food. And that is what makes me tick, right? Like, I want you guys to eat that food and love it and share it with your friends and share your special times and um, your not so special times, just everyday life. Um, and since Zach and I opened these businesses, it's been amazing to see that happen in this community. Um, on paper and in our conversations, all we wanted was to create community hubs um, where, um, where this was happening. People um, were enjoying good food and doing it together. Um, in some ways, I never knew how much Santa Cruz would shape me as a person, a business owner, and as a chef. Um, I came here in 97 for school and um, I didn't realize that I was understanding how food really created community. And as I traveled around the world, cooking and traveling, and then also working in different restaurants in, in the States, I saw this happening and I was like, oh my gosh, I had it. I was there. I was in Santa Cruz and it was all around me. Um, and I knew eventually I had to come back here and do it. Um, Zach, I met along the way, and he's incredible. He's my other half in the business world, and um, we're just so excited to be doing this. Um, you know, my other passion in, you know, um, with making great food is also to support local agriculture and the food artisans of this community. Um, it is huge, and without all of those amazing people working so hard to grow amazing produce and raise animals in a, you know, a humane way, um, Zach and I couldn't do what we do. And um, I really appreciate that. And I, you know, I don't know, good stuff. Um, <laughs> let's see, what else can I tell you? Um, when I think back through how I got here, um, I, you know, have worked under some of the most amazing chefs and worked for amazing entrepreneurs and have had so much support from family and friends and you know, writers, artists, and I'm, I'm shocked that it all kind of came together so seamlessly. Um, and I have all those people to thank for being here right now in front of you. Um, and, and now we're here and we're in Santa Cruz and we're doing great things and we're inspired by this huge community and, and it's, you know, partially because of risk taking. I agree, like you have to take risks. When I look back through my life, all of those people I met, the things I have done, it was because I took a risk and I didn't know whether or not it was gonna work out and um, yeah, I did it. And I knew though, if I worked hard and I gave it my all and maybe more than that, it, it, something would come of it, right? Um, and and those, those times I remember the most where I, were the ones where I took the biggest risks. So I think you guys should do it too, if you're so inclined. Um, thank you for having me. I hope to cross paths with you.